it will be a special proposal. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Kylian Mbappé, but also on Jadon Sancho and Jamal Musiala, three big names. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, it's the day after the Champions League with uh, many reactions, many things to mention. Congratulations to Bayern, to Real Madrid, PSG and uh, Borussia Dortmund to Champions League semi-finals. And for Borussia Dortmund, it's been a magic season in Europe. We know that Jan Matzen is on loan from Chelsea. Then we will see what happens in the summer with the release close 35 million pounds. But also Jadon Sancho is on loan from Manchester United. The intention of Borussia Dortmund remains at the end of the season to sit at the table with Manchester United and try to find a solution to keep the player at the club. So let's see how the conversation between Borussia Dortmund and May United will be. But also for May United, money is coming because May United already received a loan fee around 5 million euros for Jadon Sancho six month loan, but also May United will receive more money in the next weeks from Borussia Dortmund because they are now going to play the Champions League semi final. And part of the add ons structure into the Jadon Sancho loan deal was also uh, linked to the situation in the Champions League for Borussia Dortmund. So, fresh money for Manchester United, important results for Borussia Dortmund and Jadon Sancho. Very, very happy at Dortmund where he started. He's playing, he's an important player in a group of play in a group of players he really really appreciates. And so everything going right on that deal, and May United will get more money, still important for financial fair play too. Then important to mention, guys, about Jamal Musiala, that Bayern are now in the Champions League uh, semi-finals, a similar situation to Dortmund, not doing uh, well at all in the Bundesliga, but doing very well in the Champions League now. Big opportunity for Bayern against Real Madrid. It's going to be tough, say the Thomas Tuchel, obviously, but Bayern are there. And for Jamal Musiala, guys, we are back there with many rumors in this case coming from England. Uh, if you remember, guys, it was, I think, October, November, when we had strong rumors about Liverpool. And I told you guys, always the same position I'm telling you today. Uh, we have rumors now about Manchester City. We have rumors about Chelsea. The reality is that, guys, all the top clubs in the world, even from Spain, not just from England, love Jamal Musiala. But this is very easy, very normal. Many top clubs are following, appreciating, monitoring one of the best players in the world, like Jamal Musiala. Manchester City are big fan of the player, but it's the same for Chelsea, it's the same for clubs in Spain, it's the same for people at Liverpool. So there are many top clubs following the situation of Musiala, also because he's a special talent and he's out of contract in 2026. So kind of special situation for a player of this level. But Bayern insists on no intention to lose the player in the summer. So Bayern consider Jamal Musiala as a crucial player for their project, but also Bayern contra proposal. I told you in March it will be a special proposal, a big contract in terms of salary. It will include some add-ons in case he wins important prizes with the club and individual awards too. So they are preparing this important contract for Musiala and then Bayern want him to sign a new deal. Bayern will do their best effort for Musiala to sign a new deal and to be one of the faces of their project. So the intention of Bayern has not changed. So the appreciation of top clubs is there. It's normal, but it depends on Bayern, and Bayern's intention is to fight to keep Jamal Musiala at the club with a new contract. And then, guys, it's him, Kylian Mbappé, Champions League semi-finals against Borussia Dortmund. What's important to mention on Kylian Mbappé is that even after the game with Barcelona, he confirmed that this is not going to change his plans for the future. Kylian Mbappé already informed PSG in February, he will leave the club at the end of the season, everything is on track with Real Madrid, so it's considered a matter of time to sign the contracts and then the Mbappé saga will be over, but everything is okay, everything is doing great between Real Madrid and Kylian Mbappé, also the player is very happy with all the exchanges he's having with Real Madrid. Now, what's important to say uh, about Kylian Mbappé is that also Mbappé himself, his family and Paris Saint-Germain want to have a nice goodbye at the end of the season for Kylian Mbappé. This is why the communication will be with Mbappé and PSG together, informing about the future at the right moment. As soon as they decide, I will let you know, guys. But they will communicate together. Mbappé, al khelaifi Paris Saint-Germain. They want to say goodbye in a respectful way. Mbappé is obviously a French player. Uh, he wants to respect PSG, the club, the city, the fans. So it will be time to say goodbye in a nice way, not in a fight with PSG. This is the obsession 
of Kylian Mbappé to leave things in a nice way with the club and also the club want to respect Kylian Mbappé's decision. So this is why we're going to the final part of the saga with Real Madrid. Very relaxed because the Mbappé saga is going absolutely in their direction. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories from Kylian Mbappé to Jamal Musiala, Jadon Sancho, want your opinion. Hit in the comments, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!